Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing a little bit of Elden Bling and in this video I'm going to show you how to respec all of your attribute points and where you can find the larval tears, which is the item that you'll need to do it with. Now, redistributing your attribute points can be extremely useful. For example, if you're grinding for a rare piece of gear that's dropped from an enemy, you can put all of your attribute points into arcane to make drops happen more often, or maybe you're transitioning from a strength build where you have a lot of strength and dexterity and you're transitioning into a magic build which needs a lot of intelligence. So first things first, you're gonna need larval tears. Let me show you where you can find the four earliest ones in the game, starting in Limgrave. Go to the Agil Lake South site of Grace, and here you'll pretty much just wanna go directly east, and you'll find a singular enemy sitting on a small little cliff sledge here. And if you defeat them, they will die and then spawn into a giant bear. And then you will need to kill this bear. It is pretty tough. It can hit you for really hard damage, obviously. But if you spawn a couple of wolves and make sure you block, it isn't too bad. After you defeat this giant bear, you will be granted with a larval tier. The next easiest one can be found in the second area of the game to the north. If you get access into the area and then head to the west, you can eventually find a short path that will lead you to the village of the Albinorix. You'll probably want to rest at the site of Grace, and then just to the north, you can find a bridge. Approach it, but do not cross it, and then go to the other side of the bridge, and on the cliff's edge, you can pillage a larval tier from one of the enemies here. Just pick it up, and we can move on. In the same area, you can also find the Fallen Ruins of the Lake Site of Grace on your way to Raya Lucaria. And from here, you can head basically directly south and into the open water. Here you'll find what I believe is a giant lobster enemy. And as you defeat the lobster, they will also transform and they will transform into the crab kind of enemy that you fought at the very beginning of the game. I'd highly recommend you stay on your horse for this one, by the way. I also didn't find this battle to be too tough. I was around level 40 when I did it. And while I stayed on my horse, I kind of did it pretty quick. I did it on my second try, actually. Get that larval tier and move on. Last but not least, if we move westward from the very beginning of the game, we can find the Siofra River Well. Take that, ride it underground, and then the second site of grace will be the river bank. If you spawn here, you can basically ride your horse to the middle of the area where you will find some scaffolding. Climb that scaffolding and defeat the two enemies on the way. And then you can drop down and follow this path into what is a little bit of a hidden area. If you drop down into the hidden area, you can find a secret vendor who has a couple of really important things, including some of the cheapest stone sword keys in the game. But he also sells a larval tier for 3000, which isn't a bad deal at all. So make sure you buy it up. You now have four, which is more than enough to start yourself on your journey of redistributing your attribute points. So let me show you how to do that now with a mild spoiler warning. You'll be able to redistribute your attribute points as soon as you reach the Raya Lucaria Grand Library. If you want to do that yourself naturally without spoilers, go ahead and do so. But keep watching if you want to know more. Here you will fight the boss Runala, and upon defeating her, you will get the Great Rune of the Unborn. This item's effect allows you to use a perfect rebirth. And then after that boss fight, you can approach her, interact with her, and trade a larval tier for the chance at rebirth. At this point, all of your stats will get brought back to where you started the game, and you'll have to redistribute all of your points back into skills in order to accept. As a reminder, you won't have complete freedom here. For example, I chose to begin the game as a Vagabond, and I will have to have, at very minimum, the default stats that a Vagabond spawns with. So you'll see that I'm level 41, but I started the game at level 9, which means I have 32 attribute points to put around my skills, and I can do so based on whatever I want. 
and maybe I want more strength, maybe I want more arcane because I realized how useful it is, but I realized that much later on in the game, or whatever you think you might need for the next boss battle, feel free to change it accordingly, and then once you are ready, lock it in and press confirm. Renala also allows you to change your cosmetics if you want to change your body type or age or even your default appearance. Here is where you can do that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Drop a like, share this video with a friend. A special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.